In this Star Wars Jedi Survivor news update video, I will be sharing with you confirmation that the Gendai are in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Before we do get into today's news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on the game. So in the gameplay trailer that did release in December, we saw a character that many of us speculated was going to be a Gendai. The species that Dirge was part of as seen in the 2003 Clone Wars show. And finally, yes, we have another interpretation of the Gendai, and we have a bunch of details on who this character is, plus some concept art and more. So just quickly, before we do take a look at the Jedi Survivor specific details, if you aren't familiar with the Gendai, they can live for thousands of years, and they are basically unkillable pretty much. They are built up of thousands of little tentacles and have armour that keep them in and Dirge was a formidable foe against Obi-Wan Kenobi and other characters in that Clone Wars show. Respawn has continued to supply IGN with exclusive details about Jedi Survivor and this is what they had to say. They can confirm that this character is a Gendai and he's not Dirge but he is called Ravers. He's apparently just as menacing as Dirge. Specifically, Respawn said that he was an important element of the Jedi Survivor story. Respawn has specified that he's not just some gruff grunt seven who can take out an army. He's actually got a long past, a very tragic history. He could be a thousand years old. He has seen empires rise and fall, plus the Jedi rise and fall, plus how the Empire has risen, and he knows how to exploit the weaknesses of his foes. Respawn go on to say that there are a lot of interesting parallels between Cal and Ravers. They say that they were both part of something and they've been completely wiped out. Cal the Jedi and Ravers the Gendai. Cal has struggles and questions and tries to find his place whilst Ravers comes in a very different conflict with who he is and what he is and why he is doing what he is doing. And that conflict is very sparky. It allows them to have a lot of reflection on who they are, where they are at and what they are doing. Speaking of their relation in the game, the Respawn team do say that a warrior knows a warrior and even though they are very different in stature, there is mutual respect for that strength. They go on to say that from a visual perspective and a character to character perspective, Gendai are just fun because, well, what do you do to them, right? Oh, I'm a powerful Jedi with a lightsaber, I'm gonna slash you. It does nothing. The dialogue of the violet construct of this galaxy is completely different with this character. And specifically regarding Ravers and the Gendai, Respawn say that we're all heroes in our own story and Ravers is the hero in his story. He doesn't perceive himself as a bad guy, he is a chivalrous knight in his own world. Which is something that you can respect in a time period where people are uncertain of the next day, let alone the next year. He kind of walks through it confidently and proud, and there is something really mystical about that. And whilst I've been talking about him, this new character, we have seen concept art of him as well as the Bedlam Raiders that he is part of. As I mentioned in my previous Jedi Survivor news update video, the Bedlam Raiders have been confirmed to be this faction that are in this village, this part of Kobo, the main central hub planet of Jedi Survivor. All of this is so vague though, because how does this even relate to what we know about Cow and from Jedi Fallen Order? It's so different to what we had in the first game, so I'm looking forward to hearing more about Ravers and the Bedlam Raiders. What's interesting is how it doesn't specifically say he's going to be the villain of this game. Maybe you fight him and then you both realise you can't really kill each other, so let's just go our separate ways, something like that. I don't really know. It's very interesting, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd imagine, based on what we've heard, we will be fighting him, but as we know, you can't really kill him, technically. It's very hard to do with a lightsaber, so... I'd love to hear your thoughts, just let me know down in the comment section below, and remember, we are going to be getting a new look at Jedi Survivor later this week, I will be live streaming it right here, so stay subscribed for that, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like to help support the channel, and I shall see you in my next Jedi Survivor video, goodbye.